Hi, I'm Carol from Micro Homesteaders. We're in the garden looking at our flowers that we've got blooming. And it's really bee friendly today. Here we've got our uh, bee balm. And next is the phlox, which is not blooming yet, but it'll be soon. The echinacea is starting to open up. And we've got over on the other side, daylilies along the fence. Boy, they are just something this spring, this summer. The colors are just something else. Love them. And we'll show you some other things that we've got blooming uh, here in the garden and around. Now these, all these colors are just so pretty. Everything's pretty. I love flowers. I bet you couldn't tell. Hosta's doing good. This little vid short video was supposed to be about being friendly towards the bees, but I couldn't resist uh, giving you just a little shot of these tomatoes because we're not used to having four foot tomatoes this time of year. This is what June the 15th or something like that. Oftentimes we've just gotten our plants in the ground maybe a, a, a week or so and these things are already four feet tall this year and we've got tomatoes already on them. So we're we're looking for having a, a crop this year unless something bad happens still that uh, we've never had before and i don't know whether to say it is because we used the raised beds uh, i know that we did have some luck with our early weather in that it wasn't all that uh, wet but uh, seems like everything is really working out well for us so far. Man, are we ever happy about that. And don't forget our Saturday night live stream. I'll be there along with Mark from Rolling Homestead and Wild Edibles in Wisconsin. And uh, we always have a good time, so try to be there if you can. The, the discussion this uh, this tonight is going to be i think about uh what would you do in case of an emp so uh you know it's uh, something that everybody ought to give some thought to we'll look for you there <laughs>